Did I need this book? No. D could I afford this book? Not really. Did I buy it anyway? You bet your ass I did. It's so pretty. I haven't bought myself an art book in so long. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. I'm so excited. Guess what it's time for? Another sketchbook tour! Hello everyone! <clears throat> Excuse me. Today I am doing another sketchbook tour. Surprise, surprise. Um, this is the one I've been using since about... Um, June. I started this in June. Um, I've never used this kind of sketchbook before. A lot of the artists that I really like on Instagram and YouTube rave about it. Um, it's the Kansan Mixed Media XL. Uh, let me grab the other one that I have. Um, this is what they look like brand new. Um, same size and everything. This is the one that I use. Um, I really like this sketchbook because it's probably the best paper I've ever used. Um, this one just has stickers on it because it's the one I've been using and I like to customize them as I go. Sorry, putting that back. And yeah, the paper is super durable and I just love this sketchbook so far. And it took me a really long time to fill it because it has so many pages. Um, it has 60 sheets, so 120 pages in total. So without further ado, let's get started. Me trying out my Pentel brush pen and drawing on my Pencera that didn't work out too well. The day I started it. Um, this was in my video, or one of my earlier videos, I forget which one, but I was showing you guys the, um, my Zig Queen. These things that I, you see me rant and rave about every now and again. Um, yeah, I was testing those to show you guys what I meant. I forget what video it was, but yeah. Character design, character sketches, um, my forest witch. This one mostly in Copic, but there was some colored pencil in there too. <coughs> Sorry. Um, face study I did of the Instagram user Lo Von Bright. Um, she's a makeup artist and she's absolutely gorgeous. I love the looks that she did and she does. Um, face sketch. Animal skull, address, lettering. This is not my address, by the way. <laughs> um, practice flash sheet. I really like how this hand turned out. Um, Self-portrait list. Um, Neo-traditional attempt style attempt. I was trying to get better with my line work and cleaner lines and more of a realistic style. Um, a gouache painting I started but never finished. Um, I really like how her torso turned out. I'm not, I'm not really happy with how it turned out. I might revisit this idea. Eyeballs. Um, attempted moose or elk or something I want to say. Um, I did this when I was bleaching my hair and I was like itching the crap out of my head and it was just making it worse. Tail to the moon attempt. And this one was a request from my brother. He wanted me to do this three-legged creature looking into, like, the abyss of some kind. It's got a weird texture now. Um, I did it in gouache. He wanted to make it a steam profile picture, but he never did, so I'm kind of hurt. But, oh well. Um, it just didn't work out. I did this with this colored pencil. Let me grab it. Um, it's, it's itty bitty now, but it's a stablio or stabilo a bit. I can't pronounce it, but um, the name of it. It's a watercolor pencil, and I played around with like the way that it's. And it does like a light red wash and everything. Um, the character pose that didn't work out too well. Um, a sage bush. I really like how this turned out. I love how my line work turned out. Um, 
spent a lot of the sketchbook trying to work on cleaner lines, which I kind of gave up on a little bit later. Um, to do lists, I started to do to do lists every day to like keep myself organized. Um, character sheets or character designs, like for their faces, I wanted to like you know make it to where you could tell that they have different facial structures and they don't all have same face syndrome. Um, self portrait and for advice to myself, and I still do this, I still drink coffee for breakfast sometimes, and it's not good, um, expressions, Levy. um, this was a YouTube video, actually, it wasn't a very good one, but it was, uh, me introducing myself, kind of, I don't know, I might redo that video at some point, a uh, little portrait I did from Pinterest, attempted skulls, I wanted to get better at skulls, these two are awful, this one turned out okay, um, yeah, I wanted to get better at skulls in this sketchbook because I wanted to get a tattoo apprenticeship and you gotta know how to draw a skull for a tattoo apprenticeship, obviously. And I had no idea how to. I've done it a couple times in the past, but I didn't do a very good job, as you could tell. Um, I hate his face. I hate his face. Oh my goodness. Um, Rose, not Rose Quartz, Rainbow Quartz fan art. Um, this is a redraw of one of my older pictures. In one of my older sketchbooks, I did receive the request to look through my older sketchbooks, so I will do that at some point. <clears throat> yeah, Lucifer attempt. I don't know what happened with his face. It just it didn't work out. Um, little like characters interacting. Um, I always draw my men like super huge compared to the women. I don't know why. It's probably because I prefer bigger dudes personally. Um, portrait the background wash. I've been getting into the habit lately of trying to color every page with gouache or Copic or something. Um, this, all these gouache washes are mostly because um, gouache is expensive. I don't know if you guys have tried to buy gouache, but it's like eight bucks a tube, and that's a lot of money for me. I don't, whoopsie, I don't have a lot of money to throw around, so I wanted to every little drop of paint count so I went back through my sketchbook and kind of just gave stuff light background washes. Um, here's a little fawn and then a goat. living in Portland but visiting friends all the time in Vancouver. I don't talk to those friends anymore and it makes me really sad. Um, another Max sketch. Um, this tail turned out so funny. Um, that same Ripperoni Pepperoni sticker design that I have planned that I'm trying to like, trying to fix the design and trying to like make this go like this and then this go down here like that but I'm not entirely sure how to go about that yet so you'll probably see that in like every sketchbook tour of mine at least once um little mushroom i don't know if you can see it whoops i'm just gonna zoom in real quick yeah there's my little mushroom i really like how this little guy turned out i think it turned out really cute but yeah and then a uh, little bassinet i think that's how i pronounced it i could be wrong video I might get a little funky at some point because my cam my phone's being weird. I recorded with my phone, you guys. <laughs> um panda sketches for someone I'm not really friends with anymore because they're kind of a bitch. Um hand study, not a very good one. Um a little dart, I guess. Um, I really like how my nipples turned out Good nipples. Um one of my coworkers she has a flat ass, and I'm just kind of offended. <laughs> um, and I used the light pink zig color clean with um, ink wash in the back for this one. Um, a face study or portrait I did of this voodoo king looking guy um, that I, I did this at, at work when I still worked at Ben and Jerry's. I don't recommend working for Ben and Jerry's, they're kind of a shit company. Bird study I did, and um, I don't know if you can see this very well, but I did like 
I was at my friend's house and she had some plants and I was sitting in her backyard with her on her table and the plants were casting a shadow and I just kind of drew them, drew the shadows that they were casting on my sketchbook. It was really fun um, and it turned out really good, um, I think. Um, failed it, attempted face, didn't work out too well. Um, collar vomit, did I call these? Um, I was severely inebriated for the see a color vomit in any of my sketchbooks. Just know I was very inebriated for them. Um, the hand studies that I tried to color with watercolor. I wanted to give this one, try shading with green for this one, and then I don't know what happened, but I got lazy or something. Um, cubes, a uh, little watercolor eye, figure studies, you can't really see them too well because they were sketched in blue. I watercolored this one. I really like how she turned out. <laughs> um, it's like forest witch sketch. Let me fix my light. There we go. It's a forest witch sketch that got all kinds of something on it. Which I'm really bummed about because I really like how this turned out. I'll probably revisit this at some point later on. Um, watercolor thing I never finished. Um, I was pretty close to done. I just had to do the bird and then I got lazy and then I just wasn't feeling it anymore. Um, little owls fish. I really like to draw fish I'm starting to figure out. Um, so expect more fish from me. Um, the forest witch, this was actually a video as well. Um, my, my best friend drew that. He drew a little heart with a smiley face in it. Nick's awesome. Um, I drew my friend Ian. Um, my ocean, my goddess of the moons and tides. Self-portraits. Um, I really like the way Copic's bleed on the back. Um, I drew my boyfriend, Malik. I, this is a lot cuter as a sketch, and then I don't know what happened. I think I was doing the, the blush, and then the water just kind of, the watercolor just kind of trailed off and ruined the whole damn thing, and I was super butthurt about it. Oh no! My watercolor set is still on my guinea pig cage. Um, little kitty I did. Um, I don't know if you can see the dialogue, but. Yeah, my friend Nick wanted me to draw a cat, so I drew a cat, and then, um, I thought he looked like one of those old, timey, like, 70 dudes who would, like, go around selling weed to people and shit, and so I gave him one of those, like, 70s glasses. Um, <laughs> there we go, perfect. Um, two owls, and then a random little branch. Bust. I did this one at my friend's house, and I used my pink multi-liners, or pink microns, and then, yeah, one of these boogers in pink. I use them a lot in my sketchbooks. I use them for this one, too, and I don't really like how this one turned out. I drew it in the in the dentist's office while I was waiting for my filling, so I was, I was pretty nervous and not thinking very well. Um, ink wash, I did. Um, this is a photo on Pinterest, by the way, um, my emergency commission's announcement back when I needed to get my rent together, um, a little fan art of Buttercup, when I first moved into my apartment I didn't have a bed or anything, I just had my laptop and my sketchbook, and, like a pile of blankets, so I would um, just kind of sit on the floor with my laptop and draw the characters and everything that I was watching. <clears throat> so I was watching the Powerpuff Girls, the classic one, and I had to draw Buttercup because, I don't know, I relate to her a lot more now than I did as a kid. My boyfriend drew this, and I added the little background. I believe this is, the, this is his original character. I really like my boyfriend's art style. It's very um, technical and very detailed. Like, I don't know, it, it's really refined, and I like it. <laughs> Yeah, portrait of my friend Sarah. I really like how this turned out, um, except for the cat. I, I need to get better at drawing cats. I drew my friend Caitlin. Um, I asked one of my friends what I should draw one night because I didn't know what I should do, and he said, draw a car, draw a car, and I was like, okay, I guess we'll draw a car, and I've been drawing a car since I was like eight years old, and I'll turn it around for you, for you guys, but, um, 
I think I did okay for the fact that I haven't drawn a car since I was like, yeah, eight or, eight or so, so it's been about 12 years. So I'm 20 now. Um, my forest switch again, there's a bear right there if you can see the outline for it. Um, he kind of just blends into the background. Um, I drew this when all the wildfires were going on in the Pacific Northwest. I don't know if I have any Northwestern watchers, but um, there, there was a, there's a, there still is, I believe, a big fire around Eagle Creek, Oregon, and I'm, I'm in the state above it, and I grew up in Portland, and this fire thing was really serious, you guys. There, I believe over 40,000 acres have burned already, if not more. I haven't checked on it in like a week or two. I should probably <clears throat> look into that a little more. But yeah, it's burned a lot, and the fire started by some little punk kid throwing fireworks off the side of the fucking mountain. It's not okay. It's not okay at all. There's nothing okay about that situation, except for the fact that the fire is starting to get contained because, you know, it's getting cold and raining out again. Um, but anyway, enough about me getting pissed off about little punk kids. Um, Evan Peters, I wanted to draw, like, flowers coming out of his head. I don't really like how it turned out. I drew my friends when I went to go visit them. I haven't seen them in about a year and I missed them so much. I missed them so much that I was just so happy to see them that I just had to draw them and then I drew my her again and <clears throat> a list of things that I got, I got, I got, I got, I got. Yeah. <laughs> here, this one was, um, there's a funny story behind this. My boyfriend Malik likes to tease me every now and again, and he called me veggie, and it pissed me off so much. I, I started yelling at him. I was like, don't you ever fucking call me veggie again, I swear to God. And, like, it was so funny. It was like a whole ordeal between the two of us. Um, I wanted to do like an Alice in Wonderland. I might make the I might put the list on my Instagram for people who want to do it. Maybe next year or something. Maybe I'll do it better. Um, my Goddess of the Moons and Tides again. I didn't like how her bottom torso turned out, so I just kind of cut out some watercolor paper and drew some tulips there with a black backdrop to kind of cover it up. Um, yeah, a room study I did. This cat turned out much better, but because I had a better reference, I suppose. rough design. I'd really like to get this tattooed, or not like this design, but like, or not this design per se, because I need, I don't need, I did. Words, words, difficult, sorry. Um, I know this probably wouldn't transfer to skin very well, so I would like to take it to an artist, like a licensed tattoo artist, and have them kind of fix it to where it would sit where I want to put it correctly, and where it wouldn't look watercolor it but to be honest I really like how it turned out just on its own like this um I really like drawing in the Rick and Morty style it's really fun and I plan to do more Rick and Morty fan art especially since I love Rick and Morty so much um this is Morty from the Ritz Must Be Crazy I was watching this episode and I love it when Morty freaks the fuck out and just you know tells all those tree people off before they get transported back to the um Microverse. No, it was a mini verse. <laughs> Rick and Morty stuff. <laughs> Sorry if you don't watch Rick and Morty and have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, Portrait of Lady Gaga I did with my um, Sakura brush pen. I got the last one at Blitz when I went to go get it. Um, oil pastel sketch 
pictures. I wanted to see how sketching with oil pastels went. And this is around the time that I also got more serious about getting better at school. More skulls! Um, around this time I decided to do skulls at least every day, like draw a couple skulls every day and I love how this one turned out. This one turned out really great. Um, this is wax. This is um, my candle wax actually. Um, my friend gave me this uh, pumpkin spice candle and all the wax would go down and melt it back into the wick and it would put out the freaking wick and it, it was starting to get me pretty irritated. Um, I do an old man. I've never drawn old men before, but I really like how it turned out, so I'm going to try to draw more old men in the future, probably. Um, pretty boy I saw on Tumblr, or not Tumblr, fuck, I don't go on Tumblr anymore. Fuck Tumblr. Um, Pinterest, another reference to Pinterest. I really like this photograph. It was like a little girl with a goat's head. Um, it's gonna help me get a microwave. I don't have a microwave right now, you guys, and it's so shitty. It's so, so shitty. Um, yeah, a face, cat skull, some hands. It weren't turning out so good, so my, so my boyfriend wanted to give me some tips on going hands, and they were really helpful, actually. It was a really helpful tip. Thank you, Malik, if you watch this, for showing me that. It's, it's been helping a lot, but have a different art style so it can kind of clash with me a little bit um rob zombie portrait i did i love rob zombie if you in case you didn't know i love him to pieces um i went to see him live last year actually i still have to take it um, i saw him at the white river amphitheater in aubrey washington um i didn't pay for this ticket um, I was still on Tinder at the time that when I when this concert was going on, and I matched with this guy, and he was like, "Hey, are you doing anything tomorrow?" And I'm like, "Nah, not really." And he said, um, "Do you want to go to a Rob Zombie and Corn show with me?" I said, "Sure, why not?" And so he picked my ass up and took me all the way to Aubrey, Aubrey Washington with him. He gave me a free ticket to Rob Zombie, and I got to see him live for free, and it was amazing. Uh, another skull. I really like how this one turned out as well. Um, punk girl taking no shit. Taking zero shit, if you will. Um, hand study. That was referenced from Pinterest. A lunar, a lunar moth. Um, I need to get better at drawing moths and bugs in general. Um, a little collarbone. Um, I, I changed my screen name on Instagram, so I wanted to make like a little back up so I can see my screen, sorry. Um, I wanted to make an announcement to my Instagram about it, so I did. A little self-portrait, another skull, surprise, surprise, um, my character Lucifer, um, not my character, but my, my interpretation of Lucifer, um, Madoka, or er, Homura, spider lilies in the background, um, red squirrel I did. I did this with an art trade for an art trade for a friend of mine. Um, she wanted me to draw her character and so I did and I had a lot of fun with it even though I felt like I took forever. 
about that. Sorry, by the way, my dear. Um, shut up. Funny. I should have wrote shut up. I'm silly. Little doggo. I really like how the paws turned out. Also, with my pocket brush pen and um, watch. I love dogs. It's a new show. Or, no, it's a new movie coming out by Wes Anderson. And I saw the trailer for it and it looks really cool. Um, I like Wes, and Wes Anderson. The Fantastic Mr. Fox is hilarious. Um, oh, we're getting towards the end. Um, my friend was visiting me tonight and asked, and I was looking through Pinterest and I was like, what to draw, what to draw? And he pointed at this beautiful piece of artwork and said, draw something similar to this. So, and it was this girl with her jaw, like dropped or whatever extended down and so i i drew that and i put a little funny thing in down the corner just for shits and giggles um a lily some hands i don't know if you can see it with the copic marker that bled through and here we have the last page a little beetle that i tried to draw a beta fish and a scorpion. I am terrified of scorpions. I do not like scorpions at all, but um, my boyfriend's a Scorpio and he likes to give me shit that I'm scared of what his sign is. So I thought maybe if I drew scorpions, I'd be less afraid of them, but no, no. Looking at a reference picture for them just kind of made me even more uncomfortable. And yeah, that's it. I got my final thoughts, talking about how I branched out and a lot of stuff that I don't normally do and how I got better on skulls and yeah so that's my sketchbook I hope you guys liked it um, Inktober is here and I'm so excited I'm going to be doing so much art so you can expect a video a new video from me probably sometime this week And also I wanted to like show you guys the stickers too. I didn't get I didn't even talk about the stickers on this sketchbook. Um my friend gave me this get toasted one. Um I was given this by a visitor that was visiting my friend when I was staying over there when I was still couch surfing. Um this used to have Benjamin Franklin with a skull on it and it was great. Um my friend also gave me this Jasmine sticker. Um, a Lisa Frank sticker. I'm not really a fan of the person who gave this to me, so I might take it off because negative association, and I'm not about that. Um, I got these two at <clears> the <throat> little, like, art store down on, down in Portland when I still stayed in Portland. Um, Potato Champion, a little food cart down in Portland as well. Um, I found this on the street, I found this on the street, and I found this on the street, like, on lamps and stuff and when I see a sticker just kind of lying about I, I peel it off and take it <laughs> if I can. Same with this one. And then these two are yeah leafly stickers. And yeah. So yeah that's my sketchbook. Um, as you can tell the back fell off because I'm so rough with my sketchbook sketchbooks I don't know how to I don't know how to keep them on and the other the one thing I don't like about wire bound sketchbooks as they start to fray off like this after a while and which is why I mostly used hardcover sketchbooks for so long but until I find a hardcover sketchbook that has as good as paper as this that isn't ridiculous expensive then this is probably going to be my sketchbook of choice from now on so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I hope you will give this video a like and give me a subscribe if you want to see more. Um, trying to think of something that you can leave in the comments for me. Um, maybe just how your day's been, how your night's been, how your week has been, how Inktober is treating you so far. I know it's only the first day probably by the time I get this video up, but it doesn't change the fact that I'm still super pumped, especially since I finished a sketchbook and I can start my new one with nothing but Inktober stuff. Um, I'm still debating if I want to start my mixed media one or revisit this old one that I had. Um, I forgot when I bought this, but I bought it a while ago. The other side's just warped beyond all repair. I forget what happened, but... My ex-boyfriend just kind of ruined it. He, 
yeah, I had a bunch of his art in here, and meh. He, he just ruined my sketchbook, and I was so mad. That's the wrong way. But, yeah, that's, a, that's supposed to be the front cover, so what I'm probably going to do is just flip it around like this, and then, boom, good as new. Start from the back. If I decide to go with this one, it's smaller, so it might make things a little easier on me. But it also leaves me less room to, like, play around and do heavy ink washes and stuff like I want to do this year and whatnot. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next. I'll see you guys later. I hope you have a fantastic week. And I love you. We'll s I'll see you later.